Has India given up its supercomputing gains? This is the question that is being raised after the recent list that was put out on the top 500 supercomputers. In November 2007, for instance, India's ECA computer, which was developed by the Computational Research Laboratories, a wholly owned unit of uh, Tata Sons, was ranked at number 4. At that point in time, India had 9 supercomputers in that list, out of which 2 were in the top 100 list. Around that same time, China had 10 supercomputers in the top 500 list. However, it had only one in the top 100 list. Now, four and a half years later, when the same top 500 list was released in June 2012, the tables have turned dramatically. India has two uh, supercomputers in the top 100 list, but overall only five in the top 500 list. In contrast, China has a whopping 68 supercomputers in the top 500 list and 7 in the top 100 list and it has got one which is ranked 5th in the world. Now that's a considerable achievement. US of course dominates the scene with over 50% at 253 systems. Europe follows with 107 systems, Japan with 34. So what is the problem with India is an obvious question. According to experts, India needs a large data center for supercomputers. It requires space, it requires power, and India is a power-starved nation. According to some experts, a decent, a decent-sized supercomputer would require anywhere between 5 and 10 megawatts. Now, this is the consumption that a small city perhaps would have. It's pretty difficult for a country like India, and it's an expensive proposition too. However, there are some efforts that are being put into to give India the right push as far as supercomputing is concerned. The government, for instance, has allocated rupees 5,000 crore for high-performance supercomputing or supercomputer efforts. Now, whether these efforts will help uh, give uh, this supercomputing the right push that it requires remains to be seen. Meanwhile, the Indian Institute of Science, the IISC, has uh, got its Saga 220 uh, supercomputer, which is making a lot of uh, waves in the Indian scenario. It has already been ranked 86th in this uh, current June 2012 top 500 uh, supercomputer list. And the hope is that going forward, India will move from teraflops, which is a trillion uh, calculations per second, to petaflops, which is the world standard.